it attacks the DNA of the microbe and after the, based on the dosage it requires it actually cleaves the uh, cleaves the DNA and uh, the process of this uh, cleavage of DNA and formation of the uh, uh, a dimer for the thymine molecule um, basically prevents the re uh, uh, replication process for the microbe. So basically, the, the UV photons uh, or the uh, UVC, uh, where UVC LED comes into picture, is used for uh, this process. The very important criteria for this is the UV dose. Uh, basically, that, what that means is, is it's a combination of UV intensity, which is generated by the LEDs, uh, times the exposure time. Now, the the units for these are basically uh, I, uh, for UV dose is joules per uh, square uh, square centimeter or uh, square uh, meter or millijoules per square centimeter, and uh, the UV intensity is basically measured in terms of milliwatts per square centimeter. And uh, uh, the exposure time is uh, uh, expressed in seconds. So what, uh, what, this table basically over here shows what is log reduction. Uh, when we talk about uh, one log reduction, we are talking about uh, a 90% reduction in the quantity of the microbe which is present. Uh, that's basically 10x uh, uh, reduction by 10, a factor of 10. Uh, when we talk of two, two log reduction, it's basically redu a reduction of the micro by 99% and so on and so forth. So basically, uh, there is a, a interest for six log reduction. Basically, we are talking about 99.9999% uh, reduction in the micro. Um, so this, this table over here shows uh, different uh, dosages required for different microbes. Uh, these are an example. So it, it talks about UV dose for viruses, uh, UV dose for protozoa, and then th there are different uh, uh, viruses and the hosts which are present. What we see here is what lamp type was used. Uh, uh, LT stands for low pressure. Over here, the MP stands for medium pressure. And what is the uh, dose requirement for, based on those lamps? Now, there has been, uh, as you know, low pressure and medium pressure mercury lamps are uh, uh, in the marketplace for a really long time. So there has been a lot of work done uh, to figure out what dosages would be required for different material. Uh, as far as the UVC LEDs are concerned, they are pretty new in the marketplace. And we do not have such an, a comprehensive list of uh, microbes uh, and the dosage requirements. Uh, so what we typically do is we take, take uh, into account um, or we use these dosage values which are provided by the low pressure or medium pressure mercury lamp as our starting guide. We are also creating our own uh, testing. What we show here is basically we took one of our uh, Claron UVC LEDs, uh, typically a 20 milliwatt uh, LED and we actually selected the different microbes and uh, here are the list of microbes. Uh, the, there are different primary sectors where they, they can be used. So for example, MRSA could be, uh, uh, is primary sector would be air. Uh, what, what type of a microbe it is and what kind of, kind of a log reduction did we achieve? Uh, as you can see that this was uh, operated at a two inch uh, distance. And we'll go into this distance a little bit more um, uh, a little later, but uh, two inch distance, so we are seeing a six log reduction of uh, uh, MRSA. The important factor which I have not mentioned here is how long did it take to get, get to that six log reduction. So here is actually the detailed uh, experiment uh, we did um, uh, uh, with the different microbes. And what we show over here is uh, different time factors what would have, what kind of a log reduction we uh, we would get if we had 30 seconds, if we had 60 seconds, or 120 seconds? And as you can see, MRSA was one of those microbes where we got a pretty high log re reduction. Uh, C. difficile, uh, on the other end, which is one of the very difficult microbe to disinfect, uh, still gave us approximately one approximately one log reduction um, uh, between 30 and 120 seconds of uh, exposure time. We also did a, a more extensive study uh, with the MRSA over here. What we are showing is uh, uh, two different uh, charts. Uh, one of them uh, at a distance of uh, 
uh, two inches and another one at a distance of three inch away from the surface and uh, at a different time factors. And as you can see that uh, we, we, uh, we can actually uh, uh, calculate what, uh, what um, power, uh, how long would it require, uh, how long we need to expose the microbe to get to a uh, certain log reduction value at a certain distance.